Max. Uh, it's one of the uh, newest entries by uh, by the new Ninebot uh, team. They're calling this the Max, uh, and I am extremely excited to bring it to you. I'm hopefully uh, going to be getting on this thing in a, in a couple minutes once we have a chance to go through all the bells and whistles here. But uh, Ninebot's just kind of stepped up to the market, and uh, after. Uh, farming out its uh, original design to Xiaomi uh, with the M365. Uh, they've uh, decided to take their own original design um, and they stepped away from what they've done with the ES1, ES2, and ES4 models and uh, really kind of put all their R&D into what you see here, the Max. Um, and I'll go over some of the details uh, what I see right off the gate, uh, pros and cons, talk to you about all the details, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get to be a little bit more uh, better uh, equipped to be able to handle this thing out on the roads. Follow me. First thing that is clear as day, tires on the rear. I can't tell you how important that is, and that shows that Ninebot was really listening to customer R&D. Uh, they put the 350 watt motor to the rear as opposed to the front. Uh, M365 had it up front and made absolutely no sense. So I'm really amped to see the more efficient motor actually have uh, the, the right kind of torque and, and give that, that kick that we're looking for going up those hills. Second thing that's clear as day is your new charging ports. Uh, Segway just really kind of stepped up and they're sending out to you a 5 amp uh, charger as opposed to what comes on the M365 which was the 3 amp. It's an updated system, definitely. Now that we got rid of the motor in the, the front, it gives way for uh, some disc brakes to, uh, to be out front. And clearly pointing to the disc brakes, you see another thing that's obviously revolutionary with regards to Ninebot. That's real tires. They're, they, they're taking the advice of the customer and they're stepping away from all the ES1, ES2, and ES4 models that were literally plastic wheels. I think that was one of the biggest things that kept Segway in, in the amateur market back in the day. This is really a, a new setup that's gonna kinda shed light on being with the big boys, if you will. Standard with, uh, with all M365s and, and obviously with the Max is their buckle system. Great little way to be able to just, you know, kick it down and get going on the go. Standard clip, boom, and you're ready to go. So we got three settings. This is the on. You got a digital screen which never came with the old M365s and you got three settings. Right now it's in sport, you got eco mode, and you got regular drive. Underneath that you got your power settings. One, two, three, and I believe four is max setting. So as the bars go down, your power goes down. There also is the double tap that gets you the lights up front. 